Taking down some more trees. Folks, we're back in Mon Buzzle, and today we are finally going to get that junkyard car. At least I say we're going to do it. So the junkyard car might have crashed into my other car the other day. Uh, it was a absolute tragedy. And if you missed the episode, it was absolutely hilarious. So yeah, I had to uh, spawn the truck back at the, uh, the shop. So I had to pay to get it towed. I have been doing some of the wood cutting job. So that's definitely helping here. Uh, we're about to take another load because I need to go buy some A arms or at least a A arm. And then I think one of the rear arms uh, because I lost some and I don't know where they're at at all Like we found them and then I lost them at some point during my uh, gameplay So now I'm to the point where I don't have enough parts to get that thing out So yeah, I've got a couple ideas how to jack it up and I'm thinking we're gonna use the trailer to pull it out of there I mean, it's at a pretty good angle now, so I'm pretty hopeful today But if you guys are hopeful and you think I'm gonna rescue this vehicle be sure to hit that thumbs up button and um uh, yeah, let's go deliver some firewood. All right, let's get this down into here and make the big sale. Oh, geez. Hey, that was a lot of money. Uh, we're up to 400 bucks. Uh, I might be stuck though. Oh no, I should not have ran over this. Hold on. Uh, it's fine. Okay, whew. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna get out of that for a second. Okay, so I guess, actually it is Friday. We can go over to Mr. Van Guy and go buy the parts that we need. Man, it tears me. Oh, geez. Okay, I did not realize that was a big hill. But yeah, we can go buy the uh, the parts that we need to get that thing rolling. Also, uh, last episode, I was complaining that I couldn't get it to actually drive forward uh, after we cranked it. And I think it's because the differential fell out the back. I thought I had it completely hooked in, but apparently that was not a thing. All right, good, sir. On parky brake, boom. And that was a nice entrance. All right, so we need... One A arm. I know we need this. Uh, this should get both front wheels like upright and turning. And I think we need a rear arm. Oh no, that was expensive. It was 300 bucks. I don't have enough money for the rear A arm. So one of the rear tires is still gonna be all cattywampus. <laughs> oh boy. Also, I realized I didn't install the brakes on the uh, vehicle either. We just got to get it out of the uh, the junkyard first, and then we'll worry about brakes. Okay, so I'm going to head back home, uh, grab a couple more items. We've got our A-arm here. Uh, I think I should probably wait until Saturday. We got to get out there early. That way we ensure we have enough time, uh, daylight, energy. Uh, that way we can hopefully pull that thing out. I'm actually really nervous as to how this is going to work. Uh, dealing with the car in the junkyard just makes this a whole lot harder. Which, by the way, if you're wondering, like, how this is gonna go, once we rescue it, I just want to get it back into, like, perfectly good working shape. I'm not looking to upgrade it to, like, a big race car. Hopefully, uh, by then, we'll be getting close to an actual update, and then we'll go back to the old save. Uh, this is just an alternate start, which I think is absolutely fantastic. All right, so here we are back at the junkyard. You know what I just realized that we can do? Why don't we sell some of these parts? Like, I think we have just an absolute abundance of wheels. Like, we can get rid of this stuff. We do not need it at all. Uh, so say, like, these rusty wheels here. How much does this get me? This might actually buy the other uh, control arm I need. All right, so let's put that one in there. Uh, we got one here, and I'm sure there's even more parts uh, further back into the... Oh, that was such a horrible miss. Yeah, there's more parts even back further into the junkyard, so I'm thinking we might actually be in pretty good shape here. Okay, so let's sell this. Boom, $138. How much was that A arm or the rear arm? I think it was only like maybe 300 if that. Uh, we should be able to basically afford it. All right, so we got to get to work here. Uh, let's get this thing rolling. So I have an idea uh, as far as getting this thing kind of jacked back up. Uh, we're going to use these jack stands, and we're going to stick them in the rear here. Uh, I just was not able to secure that differential last time. I thought I had it in, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't in at all. It fell right out. So pop that up there. All right, so we have pretty good access to the bottom. Here's the A-arm. Can I just slide this in now? Uh, come on. You can get in there, right? Do I have to take everything off? I hope not. Oh, boom. Sweet. All right, so we have that. Um, let's get our spanner. I know we have one out here. And let's get some lugs. 
uh, or some bolts and we'll try to put all this on so put that over there there's the spanner there's the differential that fell out <laughs> this is fine we'll just stick that under there that needs to go back there okay so we're in business that rear wheel is a bit of an issue i could go back uh tomorrow and buy the uh the part that we need to make it stand upright like if it's standing upright and the uh the differentials hooked up it should run like uh, at least i think it will Unless I'm missing something else. Uh, actually, I don't want to jinx myself. I feel like that might be a thing. All right. Where does this go? You're somewhere back here. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. So here's a good question. How do I hook you completely in? Uh, how many bolts is it? Isn't it like three or something? Hold on. Let's get these out real quick. So yeah, I need to be able to drive this thing up onto the dolly trailer. Uh, okay. So there's one there. Okay. I'm kind of doing this blind. Like, this is the hardest thing about this save. Like, I think you're supposed to tow this thing out here, but the towing physics and the way this vehicle, like, interacts with the ground, it is tough uh, without something glitching out and absolutely just ruining your day. So, uh, there is a balancing act here, and, yeah, I don't know if I've quite figured it out. Wait, what if the rear won't... Actually, I don't know. Is this, this is a rear wheel, isn't it? I don't know how this is going to work. We're missing a wheel and a control arm. In theory, I think it'll still move, though. <laughs> I think. Okay, there's a chance it is hooked up. Also, the transmission needs to be hooked up, I believe, because that can pop it out, too. Uh, so, yeah, once those are hooked up, do I have enough bolts here? Uh, I really hope I have enough. I think I got a couple uh, spare ones over on the other side. I probably should have bought some uh, from the guy. Okay, let's hook in the A-arm here, and then we should be able to crank, and we're going to see if this thing's going to roll, or if the differential's going to blow out the butt of the car. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, kind of nervous for this, I'm not going to lie. All right, everything is hooked up. Um, yeah, let's try cranking this and see if we've got some rolling in the wheels here. So let's go crank. There's neutral. All right, so it's first gear. All right, let's look at the wheels. Oh, look at that. They're spinning. All right, so differential is hooked up. So in theory, we might be able to get this thing up on the trailer now. And if we can get it up on the trailer, we can haul it back to the garage and be good to go. And uh, yeah, we still have to find some more parts out in the world. Like there's a intake somewhere, uh, or at least, oh, it's the headers or the uh, whatever's on the left side here. I think this is the intake to the right. But yeah, we're missing that. Like I haven't even seen that at all. Uh, places we haven't checked. We haven't checked the, uh, the racetrack. That might be a thing, too. Look at this. This actually rolls better than it should. I thought we'd have to put the, uh, the trailer on, but, I mean, this, this is working pretty good. I think we just turned the trailer. What the heck? I could totally drive this back. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it is smoking. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, this is a thing that we could totally just take back on our own if we wanted to. But I feel like I want to get everything here. So am I going to regret putting this on the trailer or should we just drive it back right now? I don't know. That is a good question. All right, let's hook up the trailer and let's see if we can just get it up on it. Uh, I am a bit concerned as to how this is going to actually work. Because uh, Mamba Azul has some weird physics when it comes to like towing things, especially incomplete things, which that thing is completely incomplete so yeah it's gonna be something okay let's just chunk everything in the back pack it up and uh see if this is gonna actually work uh there's a chance it works there's a chance this is gonna end in pure misery uh but it's gonna have to be a risk i'm willing to take here so let's grab the good parts we need to also throw out the bad parts too uh because yeah we can make a little bit more money like i should have enough uh to go get one of the missing parts that i need that way we have four upright wheels, uh, which would be actually kind of nice to have. All right, well, we got way too much stuff in here. Let's get rid of uh, all the extra stuff that I know we're not gonna put back on the car at the moment. And then we've got the task of getting the car up on the trailer, which that's gonna be a task and a half here. All right, so listen here. I think I can get rid of the old differential. We got the new welded one on. Even though I think the welded one's more like a drift style one, uh, well, eventually, we can always upgrade to, like, the normal or the performance one, I should say. All right, so all that's in there. Uh, let's try to keep the exhaust. I'd like to bolt this on, even though it's rusty. And let's go ahead and sell this, and then let's get this car up on the trailer. Oh, I look forward to that. It's going to be so glorious. All right, so ramp down. 
Uh, I mean, surprisingly, it drives like Ford really well. I, I haven't tried to really turn it much. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if that really works well. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it turns really good. Uh, okay, drive it up here. Hold on. It isn't going to be this easy, right? Like, that. No way. No way it's this easy. All right, let's go ahead and go ramp up. And then we are going to attach vehicle. Okay, that's kind of scary. Okay, parking brake off. Let's go ahead and turn off the ignition. Well, she is ready to finally go home. We are about to say goodbye. Well, actually, we'll probably come back out here. As I'm sure I left a couple things out here. But we're basically ready to say goodbye to the junkyard and uh, really get this thing hammered out at the house. Okay, here we go. It looks pretty good. We might lose that exhaust. I'm not, I don't really care. Like, I can go buy another one. Dude. This is totally working. I'm so happy right now. Uh, yeah, I don't like the junkyard after this save. So, folks, I was on my way to, uh, you know, take this to the house. This thing uses a lot more gas whenever you're towing. Uh-oh. We are in the middle of the street. Oh, no, that couldn't go any better, could it? Um, I need gas. Uh... <laughs> I guess we're walking. I shouldn't complain here because the more I stand here and complain, there's a better chance that that gas station is going to be closed, which it might still be closed by the time we get there, which is going to be a nightmare. But I think the four wheelers there. Uh, I can't believe that everything was going so well. Well, thankfully, this was at the uh, old gas station here. It's going to make our trip a little bit quicker. All right, so we have the fuel. The goal is just to get the car into the garage. Like, that would be just absolute. Oh, I'm already apologizing here. No, that'd be absolutely grand. All right, here we are. We're back at the house. We have done it. Uh, <laughs> our objective is complete. We got this stupid thing back home. Uh, I'm so happy right now. All right, so I'm going to just slap on and mock up the doors and stuff just to see what this kind of looks like. Uh, uh, so I am bouncing. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we'll get an idea. I think I might have left the hood at the... Or actually, is the hood here? There's a chance the hood's actually in the garage. Uh -huh. Let's open this up real quick. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we got that part. So this is kind of giving us an idea as to what's missing. Uh, will you please go on? There you go. And then we got a trunk in here. Okay. Uh, let's put that on there. We've got a wheel in here. I uh, got our exhaust in here. All right. I'll put this one on here. Uh, come on, baby. Get get down in there. Uh, okay, there might not be something on there. We'll just set that right there. Uh, maybe the hub or something's off. Uh, all right, so we'll put this spoiler up here. Boom, look at that. I mean, honestly, it's not in terrible shape. I mean, I would say it's not in terrible shape. It's kind of busted looking. But, I mean, we can do some pretty quick fixes to this thing. Like, we already have the dent repair kit. Uh, we can start hitting those out. I mean, this isn't that bad, to be honest with you. But yeah, we can just start hitting this thing, and boom. We're knocking out, like, dings and stuff now. Uh, I got some rust repair kits, too, that we could definitely uh, work a bit on, too. Actually, I think I need to get the rust off. That way I can tell where the actual dings are. Wait, I, I have rust repair kits. I just swear I bought some. Are they in here? Are they out somewhere else? Uh-oh. Wait, weren't we supplied with some? I could be completely wrong about that. Maybe I do have to go buy them all. Do I have any in here? Oh. I was hoping... Wait. In here. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here's the the, uh, the front bumper. Oh, and this will pop right on. Boom. There's that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to bolt down here. I've got bolts with me. Uh, oh, yeah. Look, we got a ton of these things. Dude. This thing can be fixed right up. So I really just need to bolt everything down, figure out the rear suspension situation, put some brakes on this bad boy, and she will be ready to drive. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are amazing. We'll see you guys next time.